Andre Walker, West Coast Finals. I represent Cali to the fullest in New York City. Andre Walker, the great grandson of Moses Fleet Walker, baseball's first black major leaguer. I'm the only player to take advantage of the grandfather clause written into the league's new rule. Negroes on the contract can play out the remainder of this, their final seasons with their teams. Every other colored player is gone. They left out of pride. Out of pride, I stayed. No one's going to run me out of my chosen profession one second earlier than law allows. The man most responsible for the new rule, or at least the man claiming the most credit, is Anson. Cap! Cap! Anson! This is my fucking history. I am the great grandson of the racist, cracker, baseball god, Cap Anson. Yeah, me, Macon Daytonne and Cap Anson. Chicago's first baseman and manager. Greatest hitter the game has ever known. Anson has done more for the game's popularity than any man. And when he talks, people listen. Why are the coloreds allowed to play with whites and dirty up the great American pastime? Does the league want to risk a colored player losing his temper, as the race is notorious for doing, and, in a fit of rage, turn on a white opponent with a bat? This cracker's worried about black rage. He should have seen what his white great-grandkid just did. <laughs> Integrated play is a disaster waiting to happen. Baseball is a game of dignity and poise. A white man's game. Thus, on April 29th, 1889, I'm not the only colored man in a uniform, but in the entirety of Atlanta, Georgia's Robert E. Lee Stadium. Out in the decaying bleachers is a section for coloreds only, but it stays empty as the stadium fills up. I wonder what they think of me for staying. I ain't out to be a hero, but it occurs to me that folks might think I'm selling out for staying where I ain't wanted. Hey, please! Hey, Fleet! Hey, Fleet! Hey, Fleet! Say, Red! Hey, Fleet! Ready? Yes. Be about 50 of them. They're costumed in everything. A cheer like rifle fire rises up, and I realize it's coming from the exact place I'm about to stand. With my back to the enemy, engaged in what suddenly seems like an impossibly foolish, infantile game and an undertaking as serious as anything in life could ever be. I talked to one of them. And they said they're not here to cause trouble, just to celebrate the purification of baseball. Hey, maybe you want to take the day off. I'm third baseman. I'm playing. When I step up to the plate, every voice comes to life. About a minute or two, I turn and look at that clan delegation behind third. I dig in and cock my back just Dying to swing through that sea of hate. The wind up, the pitch. A body blow that stings my thigh. Oh, I knew they was gonna try and kill me. Fuck! The crowd roars. I jog to first where Cap Anson's waiting. Tell him to take you out before things get ugly. I take a big lead as much to get away from Anson as to get a jump on the pitch. You best quit while you still can, boy. Sometimes a man just 